You know, I think I like this match for uh, Justin. Damn, 0-7. That's what he said. The first thing I clicked on. That is important, but but sort of historically for your legacy. It's also a bit about the West holding their own against the Japanese. I mean, we're starting to get better now. I'm gonna meet my female counterpart in soccer. A fe female hype esports girl with good hair and top tier segways. I'm gonna tell you what. If that's the case, I'm in there. Nice and easy. Damn, jump back strong, fierce. I actually kind of like this matchup. Not as much as I like one sad boy for hitting me with that 499 sub. Thanks very much uh, for the uh, subscription. You, got us, you guys have been subbing like crazy. That's very nice of you. Um, yeah, I, I, I kind of like this matchup for Karen in a lot of ways, right? I think she has a strong ground game and she can control in the collie pretty well. And it's up to him to make the risk count with jumps and dashes and stuff. Yeah, Shinla. That was like the first thing I heard when I turned it on. I so the thing is, I didn't really get to hear the drama, and I didn't see it until like the next day in the morning and stuff. Because uh, what's it called? I was on the second stream all day, so I didn't hear anything that happened here. Got him counter poking. Oh yeah, he gets hit here. Yeah, nice of Justin to recognize that going. Caught the meaty. He's not stunned or dead. I mean. He wanted a throw bait. Jesus, you could die in like one good mix-up. Oh, that's a good mix-up. The laid down strong counter hit. You don't even need counter hit for that to work in V-Trigger, and you get smoked. Hit me with the sub, then follow tech. Thanks. I don't actually follow that many people on Twitch. Uh, so, you got me. That's like the two-hit combo. There's people, lots of people I'm sub to that I don't follow. Woo. That buffer. Yeah, that's stomp. Use, use the second stomp to pull your hurt box back, kind of, right? This is something that Nikali players use a lot. Stomp, then you stomp a second time, and while you're lifting your foot, Nikali is kind of uh, skinnier, so it's a little harder to counter poke. Haithani gets the corner for himself. He didn't get that at all last round. Series. Offensive pressure. A good block from Justin. Yep, sweet punish. Because he didn't hit a button in the air, he was able to land and sweep a little faster. Okay, spends the bar. Nice. Justin did a lot of work to to kind of be more consistent on the execution of this character, and you can tell. Where's all the Blanca mains? I don't know. I don't want to see him anywhere, though. Nice and patient. Activate. I like the raw activation a lot from Haitani. Got him. I like his delayed down strong that he goes for a lot as a meaty. Or not as a meaty, as a knockdown pressure. It catches people throw attacking a lot. Patience. My God, how did you survive that? Yeah, this is a one hit round for either player now. Neither one engaging, neither one overcommitting. Justin trying to stay outside, Haitani trying to stay outside. Little buffer. He didn't even finish it actually. Oh my God, back throw. He gets a meaty here. Damn, he was so. I can't believe that delayed down short didn't hit. If he does the X command throw, Justin's dead. Good buffer. Yeah, you know for sure Haitani wanted to get up in there and command throw. Like, that's all he wanted, right? He he threatened with standing medium punch, and he said, I'm getting in. Do we even get to see what he does as a counter here, right? Oh, lost his button. Yeah, nice buffer. Don't let him dash up in your face like that. Nice and safe with the standing light kick. The first game, yes, he does. I didn't start playing Street Fighter until 5. Why do people hate Blanca? You know what? In about five months or whenever he comes out, I want you to come back to the stream and just talk to me. Tell me how you feel, because I'm feeling great that Nocturnal Nick has hit me with that Twitch Prime. 11 months. Thanks very much for the sub. The silent the silent sub, too. He lets his money do the talking. Oof. Whiff punish. Spend that EX bar. Back throw stuns. No. All right. Well, he's got him. Reset at least. Stays in the front. Nice and safe. Justin didn't corner himself. I like that choice. Hit standing medium kick until he dies. First game. Yeah, Blanca and rollback lag sounds so bad. Oh, boy. You saying that made me... Whew. All right. Zero brackets for sure. If someone had said to me, Haitani would lose to Sako... Yeah, actually, the thing is against Haitani, Haitani Sako was weird. I thought that Haitani might close it out and be a close set, but uh, Sako got the job done. Interrupt. Yeah. What a block. He's definitely stunned here. Yep. Excellent work. It's almost as good as the work that uh, Tyrant pulls in over at the UK there. Thanks very much for the uh, host, homie. I saw you streaming earlier. Jesus Christ. I looked away for two seconds to thank Tyrant for the generosity. And Justin got dunked. Oh, boy. 
with that command throw. Take the standing, uh, or take the uh, V skill over there, which is probably the smart choice. And it's smart of Norikon to hit me with that silent uh, 499 sub. Thanks, homie. Do the nice and safe meaty. Command throw his ass after you build a ton of bar. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. That's kind of what this matchup has to look like for Nikali to win, right? If Karen gets to control the neutral, then it's really difficult. But if he can kind of mix up his dash and jump really well, and also catch her, her medium buttons with his roundhouse or uh, buffer and fierce in fierce to uh, disguidance, that's when it gets tougher for her. This, this is the worst possible situation, right? Like getting cornered at 94 seconds in the round is bad. And yeah, conversely, I like her corner game here. The only thing that I think is scary is doing Tenko into double down jab to corner yourself. Like that mix up, I think, is really scary. If you corner yourself against this character, you might die. What's up, 100 hands? How's it going? Ugh, nice and meaty. Keeping it. Woo, he dropped it there. That was a little miss. Wake up jab. You could die here and two good mix. Or like one good mix up. And oh my god, that was a good uppercut. Almost as good as you rolling in with a Twitch Prime sub. You guys are really nice. What is that? Like uh, 10 subs today or something like that? Thanks, you guys. <laughs> 20XX is all Blanco Wi Fi rollback online matches. How does Justin block these delayed down medium punches so much, right? Walk up, wait, down medium punch. He really wants this counter hit. Yeah, thanks to Tyron for the host. I hope you're doing well, homie. Yeah, jump back air to air attempt. Again, yeah, just take those. Karen doesn't have a consistent grounded button that always beats all the jump normals from Nikali, so air to airing is not a bad choice. But Justin has to commit to the air to air very early, so he kind of has to give up ground space to go for it. Damn, he's. He was like a frame or two away from losing on that uh, standing roundhouse. Back throw, alright. And back at it again, Mr. Rogers with the 499 sub. Thanks very much. Damn! You could have died. Could have died if you got clipped right there. Fierce buffer. Wow, he delayed so much. Justin, so patient. Justin can win in one good hit. Damn, no cancel on either of those. No, no uppercut. Justin knows it. Damn, no combo. He could have counter hit confirmed it a little medium kick. No. Yeah, Haitani wins if. Oh, he buffered it, and I think he thought it was gonna clip. Damn, 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 the panic. That's rough. You want that to crush or try to hit confirm, but he just went in on it. I think he thought he was far enough away that it wouldn't have come out unless it was a hit. That's a big drop. I'm sort of surprised. But I think that is what happened there. Haitani just didn't expect Justin to be in that spot unless it was being hit. Yeah, David just said the same thing, right? He believes the same thing that I believed, which is that Haitani made a bad guess on his spacing. It happens, right? It happens. Crushed him. Tapped V skill. He doesn't have any bar, so that's about as good as you can do. Yeah, take that again. Look at the V skill build for Justin. He hasn't lost any health, and he's at 75% trigger. Mm, reversal Stomp. We talked about that earlier, right? Reversal Stomp. Uh, Infilament brought up that Machibo does this a lot. It's a really common thing from Nikali players. Reversal Stomp will pull Nikali's hurt box back and make it so that normals are harder to hit him. Stunned him. Clean, clean, clean match for Justin. I like that a lot. Look at that unique little button up. He's like two buttons down right there, and he's the keep it together. But we've seen errors from him. It's All right, interrupt. Has been playing well, but I feel like is a little off. Mm -hmm. Two stomps. Which almost never happens. For somebody with his consistency, almost never happens. I don't think he expects to be here, despite the fact his opponent was Saka. My, yeah, I get asked if my real name is Sage Jam quite a bit. Damn, what a delay. Even with the pushback, actually, he got the combo. Did you see that? See how long he delayed that? Look at how far the pushback is. Nikali gets teleported. Like, look at the distance. That's crazy. Jump forward in the corner. Delay jump forward is pretty strong on defense in this game. He can stun him if he spends the X. Oh my god, maybe he can't. Well, it was a medi anyway. You missed Super Saiyan Wong? I think his hair looks pretty good in this uh, event. Also, I can definitely tell that Justin has been slimming down. Good for Justin. 
As a formerly super fat guy, I can tell you that uh, it feels good, man. In fact, I think I was chubbier than Justin is. Or Justin was. Damn, the forward throw. I'm surprised that reaches her. No way I was fat. Yeah, I was super fat. It was about uh, 245 pounds or so. Blocking there, that's for sure. Did not want to take a risk. Activates when her V trigger was done. He brought his out. You've got to be careful approaching. Justin caught him for Dustin earlier. Justin so like patient. 170 now, 175. And he's got a lot of time. <laughs> Damn, that delay was hella. Oh my god, that's like crazy defense. This is a one hit match. This happens so much between both these characters because both of them build critical art so much. And at the end of the round, almost always, uh, Karen has, uh, what's it called? Uh, Karen has CA, right? Because she's just that character. She always builds it. And then, uh, what's it called? Nikali and V-Trigger, yeah. I mean, he's just a dangerous character in general. But he gets to safely do down strong, medium stomp over and over and over until he hits you with critical arts. So, yeah, both these characters do this a lot. Zoning a little bit, in and out a little bit. Yeah, the shirt tug. Fat guys do the shirt tug a lot. That's true. At this point, it is starting to get close to that time where you need to get in and make something happen. Match point, Justin Wong lands a throw. He's very close. Yeah, he's in kill range for sure. Oh shit, he got him. He got him. He got him. He got him. What? Very fast on the confirm. What do I use to draw on my screen? All right, so there's a. Hold on, let me drag this over here. This is an X split. There's a program here called Whiteboard. See this down down at the bottom? Whiteboard down there on XSplit allows you to draw on your screen. So on my second monitor, I have the chat, and then I have this XSplit board, and it allows me to draw whatever I want on the screen. Man, Karen's medias are really powerful. The media series she gets is so good, although I guess Nikali has the same thing, right? Same kind of idea, plus he has the uh, command throw. Command throw. All right, he gets mini command throw if he wants it. Damn, he just went for roundhouse. Oh, boom! He gets the football and he throws it into the end zone, and it's a touchdown. And this is how you throw the spiral. Oh shit! Yeah, I don't know if Karen probably would have had the ex to anti air that. I feel like. Again, one hit round for both characters. Look at this situation is so so common, right? Or both of them have full gauge. It happens so much. It's like crazy. It always happens at the end of the round. It means one hit kills. Always. I like sports ball. Dead. Draw the ice clone. You can't draw the ice clone. It doesn't function properly, Foxy. You have to understand. I like this hair color better for Justin. Somebody said they miss blonde Justin. I like this color better. No, yeah, he can't. Anti-airing that is so risky as Karen, honestly. If you get counter hit by a fierce. Oh, Jesus. You're in, like, such a bad spot. Sweep, I guess. Yeah, he doesn't want to spend a second bar for damage. Clean with punish. Oh. Good block. Damn, he got him. Yeah, Haitani thought he was going to walk backwards. He has super, he has trigger, he's very dangerous, but hasn't acted. Uh oh. And he's gonna get close. He's gonna spend it. Yeah. This is a lot of damage. Hey, Although it's nerfed, it's nerfed CA damage from Nikali, so yeah. He gets meaty here. <laughs> Damn! Oh god, no! He tried to add the air jab, it looked like. Oh. If he got a 50 50 off of that, I think I like Justin's chances. Down jab right there, boom. He had down jab as anti air attempt. Did I see Filipino man doing the Chun-Li super? You should go watch that clip again because uh, you'll hear me commentating over it. <laughs> so yeah, I saw it. Alright, forward throw from Justin. He's chilling. 
Walk under again. Ooh, a little too far, I think. Yeah, Hitani's jumping way more now, and I think it's because Justin, was, he has to spend his bar to anti-air, which means his abilities to close out the round become much less threatening. Just something at least, you know, for Justin to make Hitani quit it. Oh man, he's looking for close close size mode now because Justin's dashing so much. <gasps> that was a mistake. All right, well now Hitani can win in like any hit. Oh, he almost got it. Oh, all right, he can chip him. Chip him. He's getting close. If he lands a medium kick, he can chip him for sure. But he's a big threat. Even still, he's only a couple of hits away from taking this round. All right, nice and safe. Oh god. Oh, that buffer is so messed up. That's probably the strongest buffer in the entire game. Standing strong into this guidance works like it doesn't matter where you are on the screen. This man is clawing. And now you have to guess. Is it Commandro? Is it Oh, he delayed it. Finally, how many times has Haitani delayed his mix up here to try to catch Justin hitting buttons? And, like, you see, he's going for delayed down strong again, right? And Justin is just sick of it. He goes, wakes up with a jab. It counter hits. It makes sense, right? There's been so many delayed crouching medium punches to counter hit. It's finally there, right? It's finally the time for him to wake up with a button. Amazing. 